So in general, the vasculature, it keeps the brain healthy because it supplies the basic energies to the, to the brain. At the same time, it serves as a gate to keep things out from the brain, but it also transport things from the brain to the outside. In any cases, it transport amyloid beta from the brain to the blood. And basically, it helps to maintain a low level of amyloid beta in the brain. But in, and as I mentioned, it also keeps things out because a lot of things in the blood can be very toxic to neurons. So the blood-brain barrier basically keeps those things out. So that when the brain is basically free of you know, pathogens, immune cells, and other things. And so my research is basically trying to focus on the, these molecular, understanding the molecular components of this sort of transport. Like to understand, like basically, as an as example, you know, the, we have a tube in London, right? But these tubes are basically the, in the blood-brain barrier, they are those molecular components are the same as the tubes. It basically carries things around, right? So in and out. So we're trying to understand what's the composition of those chains in the, in the, in the blood-brain barrier. And once we understand those basic sort of components, then we can target them, you know, particularly design drugs to make them work more efficiently so they can, can carry more cargoes more efficiently across so that we will have sort of reduced amyloid burden, burden in the brain and maybe also prevent to coming back to the brain. So this is sort of our, our goal. And in the last couple of years, we have to understand that, so on the receptor side, we know that it's LRP1. That's a receptor that binds to the amyloid beta. And so basically carry it from the brain to the blood. And inside the cells, we know there's now, so the machinery contains a, a protein called PICOM. It's by basically, um, connects the recept receptor to the vesicles and make it more sort of efficient, efficiently to be recognized and to add, add different steps going through a particular pathway and go out to the sort of the, the brain. And by targeting those, we know that in the AD, the, in the AD patient, it seems to be have less expression of both this receptor and this cargo cargo sort of recognizing protein pickup, they have less expression of both in the AD brains. And this will result in a sort of worsen of the clearance. And then we know that right now, if we sort of increase this level, at least in the mouse model, and we basically can sort of ameliorate the pathology and help the mouse behave much better. So our goal is to understand it better and eventually see if we can push this to in the clinic and help the patient in, the, in sort of to help them have a better clearance. And this is our sort of final long-term goal. Yeah. And hopefully we can achieve it someday, yeah.